In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn zero coins into 100,000 in 24 hours. Over the years, I have done a ton of trading challenges and the most I have ever made in 24 hours is over 400,000 coins. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the secrets that I have learned along the way and I'm going to be doing this for the whole of December. So if you are new around here, drop a like on this video and subscribe because you're not going to want to miss it. If you want to build the best team possible in the Esports FC, make sure to go and buy some coins from Mule Factory and use the code LECON coins five for a discount. So the first thing that you need to do is just get some coins in the first place. So let's start off with a really easy method and let's have a bit of an introduction to trading. So basically what trading is, is buying a card for one price and selling it at a higher price. And as you'll be able to see at the minute, gold common cards are currently chilling on the market. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is try and get yourself some coins from anywhere and everywhere. So assuming that you play a ton of games on this game, you do all the objectives, you play moments, you do anything that you need to do. You've maybe got around 50,000 to 100,000 coins if you've got lower don't worry I'll help you out so what you need to do first and foremost is come up with a bit of a sniping filter and a sniping filter is basically something where you can set up a lot of different filters on the transfer market and buy players for cheaper and you can buy a different sort of group of players rather than one player individually a good example of this would be something like gold common center back Italian now as you'll be able to see if I go over to these center back Italians they are currently selling for what looks like around 500 coins with the minimum being around 400 coins so I know for a fact that these will pop up at 350 coins so all I need to do now is sit here and snipe some of these cards so all I need to do now is just sit here and try and snipe as many cards as possible and this would be the first thing that I focus on if I was trying to make a hundred thousand coins from scratch now this would just get me up to say like 10,000 coins but this next step is even better so once I've got 10,000 coins what I would move on to next is this method right here what you're gonna do you're gonna go over to Goldbra and you are gonna go and set the chemistry style to shadow and what you're actually going to do is come over to this max buy now and you are going to start to snipe some of these cards now this method is unbelievable to do with it being christmas time a lot of new people will be coming onto the game and they will actually need some of these players so you're not just going to be sniping for no reason so what you're going to do is you are basically going to put this price up until there is one or zero cards past the hour what i mean by that is is that there's no more cards past the 59th minute so as you'll be able to see clostman here is on 55 minutes and then tap so is on 58 minutes because there's nothing past the hour I can put the price up again so I'm going to come to this max buy now set it to 1.5k I'm going to set this to shadow again 59th minute as you can see now at 1.5k there is a ton of cards past the hour mark so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to back out and i'm going to put this down to 1.4k i'm going to set this over to shadow and then what i'm going to do is search up on the market again and i'm just going to sit at the 59th minute and all i'm going to do is press compare price and back over and over again and this will refresh the market if you've got more than one card past the hour mark it won't update so just bear that in mind you need to have one or zero cards past the hour so all i would do if i've got 10,000 coins is I would rinse and repeat this method over and over again now when you're using this method make sure to use players who actually benefit from a shadow typically that's defenders and midfielders and not wild midfielders wild not wild not wide midfielders Jesus for example this Saint Maximin he's a left mid with a shadow on him I don't need defending on a left mid because they're typically attacking players but say for example a center back a left back a center mid CDM whatever it may be they will benefit from a shadow card and even some center attacking mids will as well so just bear that in mind so all you're going to do is literally just refresh this over and over again until you get to around 30,000 to 40,000 coins so sticking with this method what you're going to do now is you're going to come over to the chemist style again and you're going to set it to shadow and what you're going to do this time is you're going to set the max price to 750 coins and then you're going to go to this min buy now and set it to a thousand coins and search upon the market and as you can see there are not too many cards on the market Huh? So all I need to do now is just change a few things around on this and basically you need to get it to again where there's one or zero cards past the hour mark. As you can see for whatever reason it doesn't really look like there's too many cards at the minute but to be honest that's probably in our favour because what you're going to do now is the exact same thing as what you were doing in that first method. Now with that first method you didn't really need to learn player prices because if it was a lower card like a lower rated card or a lower price card you could just pick them up for whatever. But for example with this Joel Linton right here he's just popped up at 3,800 coins. I don't know how 
how much Joe Linton goes for at the minute. I'm honestly not too sure. But if he's on the market there at 3,500 coins, he's probably not really a deal with a shadow on him at 3.8k. Likewise, with Upper Meccano at 10,000 coins, it's not a deal. But what you'll actually find is that this filter is a lot better to use than that first filter because basically a lot of people will try and snipe with that first filter but not really know the prices. So if you're using this and you know the prices, you can make a ton of coins because they will pop up a lot more than say like 1,400 coins because that's what we set the last filter to. That's as high as it could possibly go. So with this one, this is 10 times better and genuinely this one will take you from probably around 30,000 coins all the way up to maybe 60,000, 70,000, 80,000 coins. But as soon as you're at that stage, you need to use this method. So for this next method, what you're going to do is you're going to come up with the quality and you're going to set it to special. You're going to come to the chem style and you're going to set it to shadow or you're going to set it to hunter. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to set it to shadow. The min by now, you want to go over here and you want to set it to roughly around 10,250 and put the price up. And again, it's the exact same thing. One card or zero cards past the hour mark and you're going to set things up the exact same way. I've used this method quite a lot recently and I'll be honest, this one is actually really good. So as you'll be able to see, it's looking like the price is going to be 11,750 and I'm going to do the exact same thing with this. Now with this method, you will see a ton of different cards. You will also see cards as well that will come on and they will go straight away because what happens is a lot of people will be trying to transfer coins over by using these kinds of players. Now, if you are quick enough to beat bots, you could potentially be making yourself 50 thousand coins profit per card obviously that's not always going to be the case so all you need to do is literally just keep sitting and refreshing over and over and over again until eventually some cards will start to pop up again it's going to be the exact same thing you want midfielders you want defenders you don't want anyone for example like the shakiri admittedly he is in center attacking mid but who cares if he's got a shadow on him no one wants that it may take some time to get some good players but honestly with this one you can just keep rinsing and repeating it over and over again the good thing is as well if you come over to the chem style and change it over to hunter works the exact same way. The pricing is more or less the exact same. And as you'll be able to see here, there's two cards past the hour mark, which means that the lowest is probably 11,500. But there's a Veya here at 10,750. He's currently going roughly what looks like on the market at 13,000 coins. So to me, I'll be honest with you, that is definitely a deal. And I'll be able to sell him on for like 14,000, 15,000 coins, which is honestly so, so good. But if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and go and watch another one. This is my second channel. Honestly, you you want to go and watch this because in the new year something amazing is gonna happen. not something good's gonna trust just trust me click here please please click clear watch the video